Neighboring Kerala has recorded the highest cases of dengue reported in the state since 2005 and even as the numbers continue to rise, there are camps and campaigns being organized across the state, especially in the capital. But though the government has been taking measures, the numbers uh, the increasing also indicate the failure of the government in providing waste management solutions. Piles of garbage, an open invitation for diseases. Now the impact rising dengue cases across Kerala. There have been 13 deaths in 2012. 75-year-old Sarasu Amma is weak and can barely keep her eyes open. With other complications at this age, one thing she wasn't prepared for was a dengue attack. She's back home now, recovering slowly after repeated platelet transfusions. I know at least four people. Two of them, by the grace of God, recovered. One. Uh, passed away two weeks, two days back, and one is still fighting for life in the ventilator in a reputed hospital. So I know the agony that the people go through. Kerala has witnessed a record 3,543 cases of dengue this year, 2,250 cases just in Tiruvannandapuram. Apart from rain, the garbage mess is seen as the main culprit. Most of the cases have been recorded in the urban areas, with Ernakulam Corporation being the second. A lot of mosquitoes, then um, plastic um, throw in waste. Probably our you know, trash collection and uh, sewage disposals are not appropriate. Probably that may be one reason. With the rising number of patients in the special fever ward of the General Hospital, the government has stepped up its anti-dengue measures. Some say perhaps a bit too late. Kerala state has just finished battling an epidemic of waterborne diseases and it is already facing an epidemic of dengue. In fact, health officials are warning us that with garbage all around, they are fearing an onslaught of a new kind of disease. With all of this around and a rising number of dengue cases being registered at a record level, it is ironic when the government officials are saying everything is under control. With camera person SP Babu, Sneha Koshi for NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view. Faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.